uh, Congressman, happy Father's Day to you, by the way. Uh, let's start right mm -hmm. there on uh, infrastructure. Do you expect a deal to be struck within with this latest compromise that's coming out? Well, I, I've been working on the compromise on the House side, and I'm optimistic. I, I think we're very close to a deal, at least on the spending. And I think it's a really good deal. I, as a Democrat, I, I don't see this as, you know, just fixing potholes around the country. This is a bill where we would, we're getting Democrats on board with what is the, the number one priority of Democrats in infrastructure. And that's a bill that, that, that takes us closer uh, to a, a, a future of clean energy and away from fossil fuels. So we're fixing bridges and roads and all the traditional stuff, but it's also upgrading our national electric grid. It's also building electric charging stations. It's accelerating that incredibly important uh, and necessary economic transformation. And the Hill reports, quote, Senate Democrats in tough races next year, namely Senators Mark Kelly of Arizona and Maggie Hassan of New Hampshire, say that it's more important for an infrastructure spending bill to be bipartisan than for it to fit in with all the priorities that President Biden has outlined for his party base and what his party base is clamoring for clamoring for. Now, it, that is because of the uh, midterm elections. If Democrats end up going it alone with this multi-trillion dollar package, which uh, they have the option to do, is that going to hurt them in the midterm? Should be, they be thinking about that uh, in the future, their, their elections? So I, I see it a little bit differently. The important thing is to deliver. It's to pass a bill. Uh, we are the governing party now. We're not just the messaging party. And we are going to be judged, whatever kind of district we come from, we're gonna be judged on whether we actually pass a bill that makes things better in this country and helps people. Bipartisanship is not an end in itself. It's just a means to an end. It's the way to get to a bill that can pass the Senate and get to the president so that we can make the change that we promised. Congressman, I want to turn to the voting rights bill right now, because it doesn't have much of a chance, at least at this point. But there's something interesting that's going on. You have big Hollywood names like Kerry Washington and John Legend, who are actually going all in for the For the People Act, with Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom even appearing in a campaign video. The America you know doesn't exist in our future. Democracy is dead. We have no voice. The regime watches our every move. It started when voter suppression ran wild all over America. The voting rights bills died in the Senate. Polling places closed. We lost our right to vote. This future doesn't have to be. You have the power to change it. Save democracy while you can. Call your senator now. Okay, that, uh, Katie and, and Orlando are like we've ever seen them, and I've seen the Lord of the Rings movies. But uh, will these big names help get the public's attention? And if so, you get a sense it'll make a difference? I, I, it's always good to be raising awareness, and the public is paying attention. But, you know, I, I, I've seen Katy Perry rock the Super Bowl. I've seen Orlando Bloom take down Mortar. I don't know if they can take down the filibuster, but I certainly wish them luck. Uh, I, I do think, look, we, I'm also a little bit more optimistic on this in the last few days than I have been. Uh, Joe Manchin, the senator who is at the center of this drama in the Senate, put forward a compromised version of H.R. 1, the voting rights bill, that actually contains most of the key elements. It's a good compromise. And what it is is a test of the good faith of the Republicans, which, of course, they are failing in the Senate. And I think it's a it's a step in hopefully the, the progression of Senator Manchin from working on a bipartisan deal to ultimately yep. deciding that he has to use his leverage with the Republicans, too, and be willing to support some changes to the filibuster. Well, Congressman, I appreciate your Lord of the Rings knowledge. I'm curious whether you're more left shark or right shark at the Super Bowl. Yeah, the Katy Perry knowledge was impressive. Very <laughs> impressive. Uh, Congressman Tom Milanowski uh, joining us, a Katy Perry fan for life. Thanks, Congressman. All right.